Dear Unity, today is June the 1st, 2020, and I wanted to talk about today and, to, and the chaos and the different debates that I have been seeing on social media. Um, let's first start off with saying I'm grateful, I'm thankful. I'm blessed and highly favored. I woke up this morning healthy, breathing, walking, talking, same as my kids, three beautiful, healthy children. Uh, I went to work, so I still have a job. I drove to work in my paid off cash car, so I am blessed for that also. So I just wanted to get that out the way with just to give God thanks on that. Uh, let's jump right into it. So it was a riot not only in downtown Dallas, but also in Atlanta and many other places. Uh, there are protesting for the police brutality that has been towards black people in general, especially our black men. And today, I really just wanted to talk about how people are looking for influencers to speak up celebrities celebrities to speak up and speak out and this is very interesting to me because uh i really don't uh speak on too much politics and debt and stuff like that because i really do feel like that when you speak out you need to be very knowledgeable like you need to know what you're talking about because it's very dangerous for you to spew or spit out information that is not true or biased because of your personal feelings towards something. You can't do that. So, um, today it was very interesting because as I'm looking through social media and uh, I remember it was one post, I think this the shade room had posted and it was like what a celebrity are you surprised that you know haven't spoke out so all these people are saying like Nicki Minaj or you know different type of people and stuff like that and then I was like wow like people are really looking for these people to speak out these celebrities so I was kind of like oh, okay so I find it interesting that uh like in like in some of my past voice memos voice memos i had talked about about me reading more in 2020 so i have been reading a lot of entrepreneurs uh, or black authors book in general like i told you guys about me getting b simone book and i also told you guys about uh reading tokyo jits which is a rapper her book and it is so interesting that both of these people are so-called counseled like you know the community is is counseling them like oh i don't want nothing to do with you you're counseled you're no good y'all say you make me sick whatever and i think it is so interesting that these people are counseled because of their views now let's start off with be simone from my understanding, a lot of people are not with her not speaking up uh, and basically doing something or using her platform to voice her opinion and get the word out there because some people feel like you have over a million followers and you know, you're know you consistently sitting over here promoting other stuff. Why are you so quiet on this situation? Now, some of the stuff and the reasons why she said she was quiet or she was moving the way she was moving I honestly didn't see nothing wrong with it. I, I that's just in my opinion. I really didn't see nothing wrong with it. And uh then somebody I remember listening to the radio on the way home, somebody was saying like uh about the celebrities using their platform and they were just like, Well, yeah, people look for celebrities to say something because when you are trying to promote something, a book, your product or whatever, you use that same platform for these people to promote that and get that out and you want people to support it and buy it so why would it something dealing with our community and something that can approve it or your voice can really overpower and have people to 
kind of respond differently or follow you in a certain type of way, why don't you use their platform for that? But when you're ready to sell something or a product or get something out there or support a TV show and stuff like that, you are the first person to kind of beat it in our head, beat it in our head. Like it's, it's every day, every hour, every post, every second. And so when the man had said that, I was like, wow, well, okay, okay. Now I kind of look at that in his point of view where it is a lot of celebrities that not not even just talking about B. Simone, but just in general, you right. Like these artists are going around here, especially these rappers. Now when you sitting up here talking about popping pussy, selling drugs, uh, having all this money and stuff like that, you know, you want people to buy your albums. You want people to blast your song. You want people, you're beating that into people's head and screwing that into the community. So so why is it that when it's time for you to use your voice in a positive way and bring unity, U N I T Y, unity, <laughs> you don't say nothing, you don't speak up. Because these signs people that sit up here chant your chant your words and oh yeah, you know, pop this, drop that, you know what I'm saying, smoke this, drink that, you know, those are the same people that you can influence to put out positive energy in the world because whether you like it or not and i remember some stuff i think it was either <clears throat> Nicki minaj or another artist i was just like well i don't make music for kids i don't you know it's the parent it's the parent you know what it is but you have to understand that is so true but it's sometimes where if a kid listens to something as a parent we cannot really shell our kids from the outside world especially when they go to school in different type of events they are going to meet people from different backgrounds i promise you what's so crazy about it my kids know my kids know certain people so sorry i had to kind of pause the video anyways uh like for example like i was saying like with my kids it's some songs that they know that i'm not even trying to be funny i'll be so shocked when i hear them on the radio and they send them word for word because i know for a fact that i do not play those songs i don't even know who the artist is i don't even really sometimes even play the song on the radio but they will be like like it be a young boy Boom, boom, clack, clack, bing, bing, bop, bop, baby, uh, I'm like, what, what, like, and I'll be in total shock, but at the end of the day, I just see how quickly it is for them to absorb something that they like or something that they hear, and then they just go with the crowd, so yeah, be very mindful, whether you want to sit up here and say, well, I don't, I'm not trying to be a role model, I'm not trying to set an example, you have people to follow you, you're going to have people that, if you sit up here and say, if you sit up here and say, hey, this is uh, the best, this is the best drink in the world or this is the best drink, or this is what I'm drinking. It can be a certain type of bottle of water. These people probably weren't even thinking about water. They're going to get it just because it's you. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're the person who promoting it. So why don't you not think that when you when you promote negativity, it spreads, and it's it, 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 then they embody that, and they receive that. Why don't you think that they will not receive when you are putting out something positive and dealing with unity and bringing people together and fighting for your rights and stuff like that. Come on now. So when he, the man had said that on the radio, I really did look at it in a different perspective. Because I was like, wow, that is true. Because I think with B. Simone, it was just mostly because she was saying like she's not educated on a lot of stuff. And she was just basically trying to, you know, put out positive, trying to say the right things. And I really do agree with her because I'm not really just all the way into it like that. I can only speak for myself. And don't even get me wrong, even when I read to a certain level, when it comes down to a certain, uh, certain event, especially if it hit close to home. I know some people, if some Somebody pass away that they personally know or somebody close to them and they family whatever they can hide right on social media and then you know what I'm saying get the going in or posting or saying stuff me personally I can't do that you know what I'm saying you probably if something God forbid something happened to my brother or my you know any one of my family members you probably would not hear nothing from me you see what I'm saying because I'm too busy like I'm too busy trying to I'm too busy and consumed with that 
So be very mindful that you have a platform, you have a voice. And then I have to understand that too, because I am, my blog is I Am Unity. See, I told you guys, I've been having this vision since 2016. And it is so crazy how God is basically, you know what I'm saying, using me or my brand to sit up here and say, hey, you said I Am Unity. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's getting shaken up every, it's like getting tested. I feel like it's getting tested. Like this is the time. This is the time to bring people together. This is the time to uh, bring the light and you know what I'm saying and show people the love and the passion and the unity. So where be some own people was like, you're canceled, you're canceled because you did that and you feel like this is that. You guys, first of all, I remember this uh YouTuber named King of Race. He said that stop seeing people canceled because you're you're not you don't have the final say. I would never sit up here and tell people, oh, you're canceled. You didn't piss me off. You you know, you canceled. Okay, if you feel that way, then don't support them. You see what I'm saying? Let other people sit over here and judge for their self. Let them have their own set of mind, and then they can go for it if they want to keep on supporting that person or not. So, yeah, um, be very mindful of that because I see that a lot, and it's, it's, it's very disheartening when I see people... Uh, consistently sit up here and counsel people behind something like that so i'll be praying for me simone just be very mindful you do have a platform <coughs> i'm sorry you do have a platform so be very mindful of what you say and what you put out there because now all of a sudden you know what i'm saying you do have you now you're getting aggravated because people want you to do more or want you to speak out more and you know yeah you get frustrated because the way people are trying to handle you but then also keep that same energy when you're promoting a book or your lip gloss or something else like that because these are the same people. I don't care. People kill me. Oh, I'm my own boss and blah, blah, blah. I'm making millions. But you have to understand if it wasn't for the customer, these middle class people that are buying your product. Cause let's just keep it real. A lot of a lot of millionaires, their friends their other celebrity friends don't even buy their product or you know don't even use their product they might get it for like a promo or you know they might use it for you know just just to say hey oh thank you check check this out but nine time out of ten your biggest supporter are the people that are working the nine to fives so be very mindful when you sit up here and you go hard over a detox uh detox sanitation you know what i'm saying and oh fuck boy you know excuse my language f boy and all this type of stuff and you try to you consistently try to embed that and you sell that for 20 some dollars and stuff like that okay that's cool that's a good marketing skill use those same marketing skills to get the word out and i think that's that's what people uh that's what people are trying to let her know like hey you keep that same energy so yeah be Simone. i'm praying for you hopefully you know this this will pass so just be very mindful you are a wonderful uh person especially that's another thing too i was about to say you have a book called manifestation you know so yeah a lot of people are looking for you to speak up and say something because you you wrote a book about putting stuff in the atmosphere Come on now, you wrote a book about, you know, speaking stuff into existence and making for sure that it comes to pass. So this is your time to, hey, promote your book, but then also keep it, let it be known that this is a time to manifest positive energy. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You know, I'm praying for B. Simone and, you know, of course her career and stuff like that. I think she'll be a-okay. Uh, you know, people are just upset, but they'll get past it. Uh, next person, Tokyo Jets. And now Tokyo Jets is it's a little bit different. And the reason why I say her situation is a little bit different is because that of course the man had passed away uh behind a police officer putting his knee on his neck and stuff like that. She had she was on live and so therefore she had made a remark about she's playing with a friend a male friend at that a black male friend at that and she was up there saying i'm gonna keep on playing i'm a george you know george floored you and basically saying like i'm gonna put your knee you know i'm gonna do something i'm gonna basically harm you the way he got harmed and that was a terrible joke of course you know that was like oh she just playing but people took that to her heart and she is receiving a lot of backlash from that and i want to let you guys know 
that right there to me now because they oh she canceled you cancel too no but at the end of the day they that that makes people wonder about your your spirit and your motive because you have to understand tokyo jet wrote a book about mental illness and the reason why to a certain extent i'm kind of you know looking at her and i'm kind of feeling a little bad you know what I'm saying? On her coming is because that she deals with mental illness. But by reading her book, her mental illness, I know she was saying like her mother had like bipolarness or schizophrenia or different stuff like that. But her mental illness was anxiety. So uh, I can just, she did a video apologizing. She was crying and stuff like that. And some people not even taking that. They feel like, well, you just doing that to cover up some stuff. But and then now she didn't delete all her uh, information off her Instagram and stuff like like that she's taking a heart i don't want people to think that you know she's not i feel like by her deleting all her pictures and only having that one video up and stuff like that uh yeah i'm gonna be praying for her because she's already dealing with mental issues mental health and she just did a whole book on mental health so right now i know for a fact her mental health is not all the way there so I'm praying for her on that, but once again, Tokyo Jets, you have to understand, you are raising a black man. You are a black woman raising a black man. That joke, regardless of the fact, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. It wasn't nothing to be like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, <laughs> I see the human in that. That's never funny. Just like Trayvon Martin, you can't bring up a joke about Trayvon Martin or Sandra, you know, or anybody that has died behind police brutality. That is not a time to even make a joke. It's never a good time to make a joke about that. And by you being a black woman raising a black son, and then on top of that, you having a book out about mental health, and stuff like that that was very distasteful i mean i don't have an issue with tokyo jazz i mean i always thought she was a good rapper but at the end of the day you know say it's your character and then yeah you like oh yeah you know with this and then somebody made a good point too that was just like well it's just the fact of that don't get me wrong she said it she said it like if she would have never got caught or nobody would have caught it it's like this is what you saying behind closed doors you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's not right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's funny about that? What was the humor in that? Like, do you honestly think you can get, do a stand-up kick and then it will ever be funny? That would never be funny. So, Tokyo Jess, I definitely, I'm praying for her mental health right about now because I really do feel like she cannot handle that backlash. And some of these people are trolling. They will take it to the extreme and wish death on your baby and all that type of stuff. So I'm praying for her because I know people are going to come down on her heart. But I really do hope that she take this as a lesson as for number one, be careful what you put out. Be mindful of what you say. Because at the end of the day, you sit up here saying like, oh, oh, I apologize because, you know, we'll do this. But she said, but then on the other hand, you like, well, I'm not making no excuses because, uh, okay, you're not making no excuses. Okay, you stand on whatever you said and you apologizing for it. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, who are you really apologizing to? Because now you done made a joke and really you like, well, I don't, I'm not really make this not really an apology or did it or this is an apology. But it's like you don't even know how to direct the apology to nobody because it was very distasteful and you could you offended a lot of people you didn't offend just that family you defended you you know what I'm saying you offending the people that are out there protesting silently or in a, in, a, in a right way for our rights and to make sure that we are heard and you as a black woman and a instagram influencer or you know what I'm saying influencer in general that's the type of negativity they saying that is that we don't need in the atmosphere so be very mindful anybody that is in a certain type of level where you know people look up to you as a parent i still have to carry myself in a certain type of way i ain't gonna lie in the morning time it's gospel all the way to the daycare when they get out it's it's going down so, so, but at the end of the day, it's not to say that I'm a bad parent. It's just the fact of 
I have to set an example and I have to let my kids know, you know, I try, I have to try to breed positive energy or, you know what I'm saying, or good feeling, you know what I'm saying, amongst themselves. I don't want to sit up here and have them uh, only listening to a uh, drug dealer killer, you know what I'm saying, and I want to let them know, hey, smile. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's show time. It's show time. I want them to listen to stuff like that versus to sit over here and listen to hip hop. Hip hop ain't really out of the way bad, but I'm just saying though. You know what I'm saying? I want to also breathe positivity. T- uh, t- I wanted to breathe positive vibes in them in general. So I'm going to go ahead and head off of here because. The video is getting a little, a little lengthy, and I usually don't talk this long. But just love, peace, and unity.